Hey, Boo Boo, you ready to steal some Apekanika baskets? I don't think Ranger Smith would like that, Yogi. The heavens of Betsy. The... We are going, then. Heavens to Betsy. Honey Nut Cheerios coming up. A tummy tempting part of this balanced breakfast. I am Dracula. Listen to them. Children of the night. What music they make. Raw Christmas bad! With my hauntingly delicious cereal. Gutsman may be strong, but I'm on the cutting edge. <coughs> it is I, the chameleon. It's all part of my latest diabolical plan. We got to find out where they're heading, amigos. Oui, monsieur. But how are we going to get him to talk? I think I could help you with that. Let me see the tongue-tied patient. I have special methods of restoring speech. <laughs> so, tell me, my dear, where are your friends at? They're off to see the toy maker. <laughs> Did you hear that, the toy maker, son? Why, a guy like that is right but to cause a big trouble for us, sir. And just how can we find this toy maker? Follow the store will lead you to him. See, that didn't hurt a bit. At least not physically. He's El Trader now. He can't go to back to the Michis. That I hate him. And I thought I was cruel. <laughs> well, my pretty, have you come to your senses? Will you show me where the ring is now? Well then, I'll have to convince you to show me. Excellent, Rat King. Where is the Nutcracker? The McDonald, Ohio police station was badly damaged by the fire. Aubrey Riddle was sentenced to 18 months for aggravated arson and assault on a police officer. He is now waiting extradition to Pennsylvania to face previous charges there. Officer Robert Fabry suffered severe smoke inhalation and cortical brain damage, which now affects his speech and memory. He is currently on full disability and his career as a police officer and a martial arts instructor may have come to an end. I'm William Shatner. Tonight on a special episode of Rescue 911, we pay tribute to these men, women, and children who were inspired to step forward in an emergency and knew how to make a difference. We begin during the holiday season of 1992 in Dover Foxcroft, Maine. Zeta and Peter Stevenson, their two young daughters, were getting ready for Christmas in the new house Peter had finally finished after five years. You're in a dark, lonely road. The shadows seem to reach for you. The sudden rustle of leaves makes you jump. Your heart beats faster and faster. You assume it's your imagination, unless you're on the road to Resurrection Cemetery just southwest of Chicago. The mysterious passenger had vanished without so much as a door slam. The unwitty cab driver has just met Chicago's most famous ghost, Resurrection Mary. At first, it appeared to be a tragic accident, but as the investigation wore on, it became increasingly clear that foul play was involved. This was no accident. This was murder. When we got to the scene, there were pieces of them all over the ground. Oh, somebody definitely pushed him off that wall. But the question remained, who would want to kill Humpty Dumpty? Listen, pussycat! If anything goes wrong with my son, there's gonna be Moida! <laughs> That's my boy. Listen, pussycat! If anything goes wrong with my pal, I'll pound you in the puss! Listen, pussycat, I'm trying to take a nap, a little beauty rest, and you're driving me nuts. I'm a nervous wreck. Look. Please, chum, take it easy. Lay off the noise, huh? Because if I hear one more sound, I'm going to get you alive. Get it? 
Now scram! You what? You quit? Get back here! Get back in this ring! What are you gonna do? You gonna run back to Hollywood? Huh? You gonna run back to Hollywood? When your movie craps out there! Don't come and run it back to me! Cause you're finished! Get back here! Dave! But to... Cause the authority always wins. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. This is ridiculous. Only a wimp would be hiding under a bed. I can't be a wimp. I'm the man of the house. I made my family disappear. Worth, I'd like to comment on the situation. What situation? The fact that Pudgy the Parrot has a cigarette shoved in his mouth is morally irresponsible. This is a cartoon, okay? It's not a freaking Oprah Winfrey special. Lou, millions of kids see this cartoon. It's like saying each one a pack of cigarettes and saying, light up. You can't put words in Pudgy's mouth if his mouth isn't moving. Well, it's voiceover. It's interior monologue. Maybe even the voice of God. That's even better. Don't old Pudgy. Don't smoke. Enters. What? Well, let's ask the technicians. Do you think it's morally right to promote smoking to Youth America? <sighs> They're biased. It's a mistrial. Daniel, listen to me. This session's costing the studio thousands of dollars. Now, if you want a paycheck, you stick to the script. If you want to play Gandhi, then do it on somebody else's time. Then I've got to do what I've got to do. That's real funny. Where the hell are you going? Listen, buddy, I'll tell you something. If you leave, you're not coming back in. I ain't taking any crap from you, pal. Well, in the words of Porky Pig, pee 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 Piss off, Lou. Crikey, I never thought I would get this close, but let me move in just a little bit closer. You dunderheads can't even steal a simple piece of aluminum oxide. That simple piece of aluminum oxide has a very complicated alarm system. Maybe we better rethink our plan. Frankly, I think this is a major insult. Crows used to serve witches and do what you told them. Hey, that was a long time ago, okay? How about we go in after dark? Go in, get it, get out. We won't be able to make it in time. Unless we buy ourselves some time. Oh my god, they killed Kenny! You bastards! Look, there's the house. Well, would you take a look at that? Hmm. It's a houseboat. Yes, it is. It's the latest in waterfront mobile homes. How about a nice cup of tea, Jack? Don't mind if I do, Ollie, old chum. Ah, there's nothing like going on a dinner cruise, is there? If you ask me, this here's what I call adventures in dining. If these two goofs were any more stupid, they had to stand on tables just to raise their IQs. Have all you want, there's plenty. Who's there? Who's there? It's me, Noble. I'm the magic sugar fairy from the land of sweets. My name's Maya. I know. Who told you my name? A good witch Angela told me. She sent me here to help you out. What? Her dumb red shoes don't work! Hey, you don't listen very well now, do you? What do you mean? She said you could... She told me you could only use the... She told you you could only use those shoes to help people, and you were using them only to save yourself a long walk. What good are these stupid shoes if I can't use them? Own your wants, ham! You will not stop my pursuit of Oscar Meyer. Ham! By the demons of the sea, I will have ham! Zool. Zool. Zool, motherfucker, Zool. Zool, motherfucker, Zool. Zool, motherfucker. Hey! Holy dumb fuck! What is this shit? 
Dad, can we go get some Cap'n Crunch cereal today? Fuck you, kid. You're a dick. But, Dad... You're a faggot. Dad, yesterday you came and said we could. I didn't talk to nobody yesterday. I was in a car taking a shit. Who gives a shit about Bigfoot? Men's asses. Dad, is there any eggnog left? Your mom is the one who dicks with the eggnog, not me. Yahoo! Are you ready, Akamaru? Do not use such strong words. It makes you weak. What the hell is this? Some kind of powerful spiritual pressure. So you think you're ready to face me? You can't win. Hey, this is good, little bear. What kind is it? Honey and walnut. At a picnic, Kissy Fur's dad has a toothache, but doesn't tell Kissy Fur. Kissy Fur thinks his dad doesn't care for him. Shelby, this day's been one big pain after another. Well, I can see why. Little feller's rotten to the core. So what should I do? Well, you gotta get rid of it. Get rid of me. <laughs> I'll save them the trouble. <laughs> why suck, Toot? Goyles are dumb. And if there's one thing us swamp guys don't need, it's another dumb... Goyle. Boy, you know I've always wanted to come in here. Now that I've got a mustache, the timing feels right. Whoa, everything here looks pretty good. Uh, can we get some salami and... Brian, let me handle this. Ah, uh, scusi. Butter the booty. Get cold, sir. Peter, what are you doing? Speaking Italian. Peter, you can't speak Italian just because you have a mustache. Ah, oh, Francine, Liebchen. I love the way you wore with an iron fist. You know, perhaps when you are finished there, you could put your naughty pinky finger in my bowl. Or oh, let me feel you. You're right. Then the kids are gone. No, Roger, you cannot borrow the car. Well, you think you'd be a little more grateful for the guy who saved your life at Area 51. Look at my superiors found out you were living here. We'd have all our memories erased. Did you see Memento? It's not as good the second time. The point is, you're not allowed to leave the house. Look, for God's sake, Stan, I just want to pick up a pack of smokes. It's the ultimate weapon, Frostbite. Quickly, my little friend. Back to the castle. <laughs> oh, great mysteries of the Middle East. Behold, their magic bells. Chow time. Ready. And you brought your friends for my coming out party. But boss, what about those goddamn kids? Scooby dooby doo hoo! <laughs> lick, lay what on me, Scoob? Zoinks! Like, ho oh, oh, ho horrible! Treason! You try to poison your emperor! Infidels! You have made a boring cutscene! Now, never again will you ever see the light of day! <laughs> oh, Timothy, oh how you have grown! I suppose I have changed a bit. But for the better, don't you think, hero? It's me, the new and improved Martin, and I have made the most of it. What's up? It's me, Spin, your global guide, here to take you on a journey to a land of mystery and legend, Asia. From the sand and sun of the Arabian desert, to the snow and ice of the Himalaya, to the tropical islands of Indonesia. Asia will amaze you. This huge ancient land of mythical tales is full of creatures so strange, so fantastic, so magical, you think they step right out of a storybook. But they're real. No, not that kind of sea serpent. These are sea snakes, some of the most poisonous reptiles on Earth. <laughs> 